Banff is known for its beauty and mountains, but that majestic scenery has led to the town site being known for something too. Summertime traffic. Now in Alberta College is using artificial intelligence to try to ease the problem. There were 1.8 million vehicles in Banff in July and August, up about 4% from the year before, and traffic is one of the top concerns for residents. Some feel their quality of life is being impacted by the number of visitors. Others say the tourism season is nearly year-round, meaning there's less downtime. Edmonton's Northwest College hopes to let drivers better predict when to expect congestion. Its machine learning program is creating a dashboard that could help visitors and residents plan their day. The head of Northwest College's program says it could help predict traffic for a short span of time. There's a real problem that happens with congestion in, in Banff during the July, August kind of summer months that doesn't exist a lot of the rest of the year and how to deal with that influx is part of the challenge. The town of Banff has tried to improve traffic demands for several years. And the success story there is our sustainable transportation network. So the systems that we've designed, the infrastructure we've invested in, it's all paying off. But visitation continues to grow, and the town site is only four square kilometers. Sue Molesky is a Banff resident of 40 years. I first came as a seasonal worker. I was summer staff. She says a fulsome, holistic approach is needed to address traffic in the town site. We care that they have a nice time. We want them to love coming here. The community, the the town of Banff, the municipal, provincial, federal governments really need to work together to have a master plan for traffic management here. The Canada Strong Pass is returning again this summer. It's anticipated summer vehicle traffic will continue to increase, but we don't know yet if that dashboard will be up and running by then. Greg Colgan, CBC News, Banff.